for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. I'm going to be doing a uh, bl American Black Ale, which would usually indicate to me something like a black IPA, or as people call it, Cascadian Dark Ale. Um, it's by Indeed Brewing out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, it's called Midnight Rider. Um, and anything I've had from Indeed, uh, which has been maybe four beers now, this will be my fourth one, all in cans. You know, I love it when they're in cans. So uh, let's go ahead and, oh, I might as well show you. Yes, Midnight Rider. I know there's a little glare from the light, but Midnight Rider. It's got like a bear with like this extendable monocle for whatever reason, but I'm down with it. It's cool. It's cool. Let's taste this sucker. I like the pop of cans. It's nice. Ooh. Pouring pretty dark. All right. Looks pretty dark. It's got a nice um, tannish head to it. As you can see, you can't see through it. As I was pouring, I was seeing like a you know, like kind of a cola type coloration to it because I can see through it slightly. Mmm. Ooh. It smells actually very resinous. So that would indicate to me it is it is very much a black IPA. But there's some nice uh, caramelly malt, little roasty caramelly malt to back up uh, that resininess. It smells like it's going to be a very nice marriage between like those roasted malts and like hoppy, citrusy, um, maybe a little piney note um, of uh, hoppiness. It smells really good, and I like the balance, at least on the nose. I'm hoping it holds up with the taste. Okay, getting a lot more of the malt as a, on the first sip. The malt kind of like comes in on the end. It's got a little bit of kind of like an ashy finish to it, like roasty ashy finish, which is not bad. Uh, in the beginning, I'm getting um, some hops to it, but it's a little more downplayed than what I'm getting out of the nose. I'm getting a little bit more of like a pininess to it. The mouthfeel is more than I thought it would be. It's coming through with a decent amount of like coffee notes on the finish as well. Um, kind of in the middle on this. Uh, I do feel like the malt is kind of taking over a little bit more than I would want. But then again, this is not an extremely fresh can, I know. Um, it's one I've had for a little bit, so it may be my fault that the hops have kind of died down uh, after a while. Uh, information on it's 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume. It says it's 80 IBUs, so most likely what happened is that um, it's died down a bit. Yeah, actually, I can tell you right now that um, it was canned in March of this year, so it's probably mostly my fault. But for having been canned then, the roast and the coffee notes are actually not bad. Um, not really getting a ton of the hops, but in the nose, I get a ton of hops. So I'd really like to taste this fresh. Sorry, Indeed Brewing. My bad. So a many, many, many months old uh, Midnight Rider not bad if you're looking for something a little closer to like uh, a porter with a little extra hops to it maybe but if you're looking for the black ipa get it fresh i'm assuming it's a lot better sorry about that uh stay tuned next time and thanks for tuning in